Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to crochet this uh, Christmas bell of a traditional shape uh, made uh, with uh, small arches. The height of the bell um, is about three and a half inches. I crocheted this bell using this uh, cotton thread size 10 and uh, my hook is almost two millimeters. We'll start with a magic loop, which we make this way. Crisscross the thread, pull the second one towards you, make the first stitch, and it is done. Now I'm going to make a loop hanger uh, with chain 40. If you do not want to crochet a loop hanger, just omit the step. So chain 40. Now we'll make a slip stitch in uh, the uh, magic loop like this and um, uh, we'll make nine uh, double crochet stitches in the magic loop separated by chain one. The first double crochet is chain three and chain one for separation uh, of the stitches. Uh, double crochet stitch, chain one, a double crochet, chain one. Uh, so now I have five, six, seven, eight, and nine. chain one. Uh, now we'll uh, close this loop as well as we can. Uh, we'll uh, put the loop hanger here. We need it on the outside of the bell and we'll make a slip stitch in the third chain that we made at the beginning of this round like this. Now, in each of uh, the double crochets and in each chain, we are going to make uh, single crochets. So there will be 18 single crochet stitches all together. The first single crochet is chain one. Now we'll make a single crochet um, in this chain, a single crochet in double crochet in the chain in the next double crochet between uh, the double crochet stitches and so on. At the end of the round, make a slip stitch in this first um, chain that we made at the beginning. In the next round, we'll make a double crochet in each single crochet and we'll separate them uh, by chain one. So we'll have 18 uh, double crochet stitches. We'll start with chain three as the first double crochet and chain one to separate those stitches. A double crochet, chain one, a double, chain one, a double, chain one, and continue like this until you have 18 double crochets. At the end of the round, a slip stitch in the third chain. Now we'll make another round of uh, uh, single crochet stitches. Uh, we'll make a single crochet in each double and in each chain. So there will be 36 of those. Once again, we'll start with chain one as the first single crochet. Now a stitch uh, between the double crochets, the next stitch in the double crochet, between, in the stitch of the previous round, between those double crochet stitches, and so on. Continue making single crochet stitches until you have 36. A slip stitch in the first chain at the end. Now we'll start making those little arches. Um, uh, chain three separated by single crochet stitches. And we are going to skip one 
uh, stitch here. So we'll make 18 arches like this. So the first single crochet will be chain one, and now we'll make chain three for the arch. So we'll start each round with chain four, not three. Now we'll skip one stitch and we'll make a single crochet. Now chain three, we'll skip one, a single crochet, chain three, skip one, single crochet, chain three, skip one, single crochet, and continue like this. You'll have 18 arches at the end. At the end, chain three and a slip stitch in this first chain, which we counted as the first single crochet. Now we'll continue rounds of arches and we'll start each arch here at the top. And to get there, we'll need to make two slip stitches. So we'll make a slip stitch in the first of those three chains and in the second. Now we are at the top of this arch. We'll make chain one as the first single crochet and chain three. Once again, beginning every round uh, with chain four. Now we'll start making single crochet stitches in the middle of each arch in the second chain. Chain three, a single crochet in the second chain. Chain three, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, and continue working like this. When we get to the first arch of four um, chains, we'll make chain three and a slip stitch in the first chain. Once again, two slip stitches, one, two, chain four at the beginning, and continue with the same pattern, chain three, a single crochet, chain three, a single crochet, chain three, and so on. Uh, there will be uh, nine rounds of uh, arches. Continue working on them. I will do the same and then I will show how to continue uh, working on this bell. I have finished these nine rounds. You can uh, count them like this going diagonally. Nine. And now we'll make uh, something similar to what we uh, made here, uh, a round of single crochet, double crochet stitches and single crochet. For the first round of single crochet stitches, we'll be making um, a single crochet in each single crochet and uh, two single crochets in each chain. We'll make um, chain one as the first single crochet, two, single crochets here, a single crochet in single, two between, one in one, two in the arch, one in the single crochet of the previous round, and so on. At the end of the round, a slip stitch in uh, this first chain. Chain three is the first double crochet and chain one. Uh, we'll skip one single crochet stitch and we'll make a double crochet in the next one. Chain one, we'll skip one, a double crochet, chain one, and we'll keep skipping uh, stitches to make a double crochet and the chain one. Uh, in this round, we'll have 27 double crochet stitches. At the end of this round, chain one and a slip stitch in the third chain. 
Now, chain one, this is the first single crochet, and we'll continue making single crochets all the way around in each chain and in each double crochet stitch of the previous round. Once again, we'll have uh, 54 single crochet stitches like here. And at the end of the round, a slip stitch in the first chain. Now we'll be making this sequence. A single crochet stitch, uh, chain one, will skip one chain, a double crochet, uh, chain one, a triple crochet, chain three, another triple crochet in the same place, uh, chain one, a double crochet, will skip one stitch, chain one, and a single crochet again. There will be nine uh, elements like this. So we'll start with chain one is the first uh, single crochet and uh, uh, another chain one. Uh, we'll skip this stitch, a double crochet, chain one, a triple crochet in the next stitch, chain three, a triple crochet in the same stitch, chain one, a double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, we'll skip one stitch and we'll make a single crochet like this. Now let's repeat. Chain one, we'll skip one chain, one stitch, and we'll make a double crochet. Chain one, a triple crochet without skipping stitches. Chain three, another triple crochet. Chain one, a double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, we'll skip one and we'll make a single crochet. Repeat this sequence uh, seven more times. At the, at the end of the round, uh, chain one and a slip stitch in this first chain. And now we'll be making the last uh, round, uh, a round of mostly uh, single crochet stitches. We'll make three on this side in this double crochet stitch between the stitches and the triple crochet stitch. We'll make two here, chain three and two more in this space made uh, by chain three. We'll make three single crochet stitches in the triple crochet between and in the double crochet. And then we'll connect these two little spaces with one stitch. We'll start with um, a single crochet stitch in this double crochet, a single crochet between the stitches and a single crochet in triple crochet. So we made three. Uh, now in this chain of three, we'll make two uh, single crochet stitches, chain three and two more single crochets on this side we'll also make three single crochet stitches one two three and now we'll connect these two elements with one stitch like this we'll insert the hook on one side of the single crochet then on the other side of the single crochet and we'll pull the hook through and now we'll repeat three single crochets one two three two single crochets one two 
and chain three, two single crochets. Now three single crochets on this side. One, two, three. And a connecting stitch, insert the hook, pull the thread, insert the hook, pull the thread, and pull the hook through. And one more time. Three single crochets, two single crochets, one, two, chain three, two single crochets and three more on this side one one between and one in the double crochet and a connecting stitch one two and three now repeat this six more times at the end, after the three single crochets on this side, I will just insert the hook here and insert the hook in this first single crochet and we'll pull the thread through, uh, cut off and hide the thread like this on the reverse side of your work. And now to the most important uh, part, uh, which is to find something to shape your bell on. Now, as you can see, I use clay a lot. Uh, you could also consider making a shape using um, uh, something like this plastic bottle with aluminum foil um, and plastic wrap on it. Uh, or uh, you might be able to find appropriate shapes uh, on Amazon or stores like Michael's. Um, I found the uh, nice bell shapes on Amazon, but uh, they are a little too small uh, for my purposes, only about two inches tall. If you are using thinner thread, um, I will leave uh, the link in the description of this video. To shape the bells, uh, we'll use cornstarch. We'll mix two tablespoons of cornstarch with about a quarter cup of cold water. We'll add this mixture to a cup of boiling water, stirring all the time. Remove it from heat and let it cool a little. Then we soak what we uh, crocheted for a few minutes. Then we uh, take uh, it all out, uh, wring it out well. Uh, and uh, put it on the shapes that we have prepared and leave it to dry. This is it for today. I hope you liked the video and the bell that we made together. Uh, on my channel, there are other videos with Christmas bells and other ornaments for Christmas trees. Uh, watch them if you are interested. And if you would like to be informed of all the new projects, please subscribe to the channel and push the bell button. See you next time. Bye-bye.